right, so Islam Makashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you gotta think it's gonna take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makhachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's gotta be on point, your striking's gotta be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind cannot break in front of a hot chip because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha, joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Akasha. Islam Akasha is ready to go and that means so are we for our main event. Kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Here once more is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> All right, Herb Dean, third man in the Great octagon fight. for this one. All right, so here we are back inside Bell Center, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. This is as loud and as knowledgeable as proud as we'll experience really all year on the UFC World Show. It's a great fight environment. The Bell Center is a fantastic venue. What type of performance are you going to give these great fans tonight? Nice kick there by Islam Akasha. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice straight there by Islam Makasha. All right, good sign early for the boxer landing the uppercut. You can expect the wrestler to start to chain takedowns, but hard to get that done when you got that uppercut in your face. Well, that wrestler got to start to create some angles because every time he comes close now, he will see something showing up the middle. It can be knees, but I think that uppercut that he just landed is much safer because it keeps you away. It keeps your hips back so the wrestler can't try to take you down. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal. Makashev's trying for a submission here. Oh, it's getting tight. Makashev getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This feet. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Beautiful. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. The Korean Superboy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alex Overeem's head. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts. 
cuts already, I would bet you $1,000 he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. Just misses with the straight left hand. Swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Takedown defense is there. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Just out of range with the big right hand. Great punch. Another good shot by him. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Makashev getting tattooed by that stiff jet. Oh, big elbow. Nice strike lands. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round two, which could have an impact on the judges potentially. Absolutely, you want to leave an impression in the judges' mind, and you walk back to your corner. Get up in the dominant on. position. You almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got right, it right. Right, listen. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now Land right there. His opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Gets to the single combat. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Another nasty punch lands. Nice crack there. Just misses there with the left. All right, so we told you off the top, if this boxer wanted the best chance at victory tonight, he had to keep the fight upright. So far, so good. Yeah, he's done that. And he's done a fantastic job of staying upright, giving himself an opportunity. You can see all the work that they have done with this guy to help him improve that area that he was lacking in early in his career. Great block. Masha gets the takedown. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. Trying to set up a choke here. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all weight to his opponent. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Oh, he puts the knee on belly. Now he's going full mount. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Takes his back now. Makashev's got the full mount. 
All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Nice positional control here. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Makashev's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Oh, for attack, yup. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, you better tap or that thing's gonna snap. He's got it isolated. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. He's postured, landing huge ground ball. The guy has to move or the fight's gonna get finished. Right into side control. 90 seconds to go now. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, side control now. Makashev's right back to the full mount. Let's start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Oh, yeah, he's got him to sit tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swelling from the strikes? Yeah, look from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Again, shoots for a takedown. Not there once again. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. 15 seconds to go. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Right. Round three next. Now, this round, I want you to get that submission. You're getting close, but you're giving up position, you're giving up some space before you're attacking. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again control. He did Ready it perfect. Fight. Ready. Third round underway. Makashev's strike attempt there is blocked. Big power shot there. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by Chor. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Takedown defense has held up thus far. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Now he's got a good body position, yup.
Got to be careful here. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. The ground strikes continue to pile up. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. In the half guard. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Getting very close to finishing this Von Flute. He did a great job of beating the guard. Now he's side to side. He's got to drive shoulder pressure into his opponent if he wants to finish this fight. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Islam Akasha. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Sure, his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Choi. Well, he is really starting to apply a big double leg of the team. Nice defense. Staying offensive off his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. One minute. Oh, he didn't like that one. Big shot to the head. Soul focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position coming here to try to stop this fight. Nice transition. The Korean Superboy gets back up. Nice job at least staying upright on that. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it. But, of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, it's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. Ready, fight. And now, Ready. he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Islam Akashev gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Right hand is gone. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Hard ground and pound. Some swelling now starting to appear. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here. And I don't know if this guy... Nice sub attempt. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to
up to be all kind of a show in that defense. Nice punch there by Chor. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing, like, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on. That was the hit. Nice strike. Nice straight right, Lance. Joy gets caught with that punch. Makashev's taking aim at that cut. Great timing on that double leg. Mm, that was nice. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Joy. Right to side control. Yep. All right, relax. Oh! He did a great job of reversing the position using the opening that his opponent gave him to shut him off and get back up. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that he's in. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. and repeat targeting that swelling and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Nice. Nicely done. Now some separation from his clutch position. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. Good work from the top here by Islam Akasha. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's going to have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the book. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Effective punch there by Choi. Great punch, that is useful.
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, right into Mount. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position. By close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. One way to change course. Excellent job of making the proper adjustment right there. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, they won't need to go bonus begging after this one. They're getting a bonus tonight. This fight has been all action from the opening hole. I mean, what a phenomenal fight. Both fighters should be very proud of themselves. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Choi. Scramble and go! Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Nice job to get inside and get the shot. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to have too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice right hand. Show his head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. You know, that, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt. Oh, nice ankle. Another big takedown. The Korean Superboy gets back up again. Straight right is there. Oh, nice. Nice. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Man, he is sniffing out these takedowns from a mile away. Stuffed another shot there. Lands a nice straight. Just missed with the left there. That right hand landed. Don't wait. You hit him. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has Huge shots landing on both sides. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, nice takedown defense. tonight and the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault a flurry of punches most of them upstairs and when those big shots land repeatedly the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 
25 seconds of round number five. Declared the winner by TKO, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division, and it's pretty wild to think.